small town called Mahite in the northwest province. I was born on a very cold Thursday night in a small city called Mahite. what's up guys good morning how are you doing so yeah as you can see i am ready to step out i am currently going to the market i'm going to makola so makala is like a big market in accra ghana you can buy anything anything you want to buy but now i am going there to buy fabric for a client i'm going to source for fabric for a client in the u.s so yeah this is me nothing too much i'm just looking simple the weather is very hot and the sun is out so i have my sunglasses with me who i think i look on point i am ready to step out let's get straight to makola and no i am not doing uber i am doing full chocho also if you are a foreigner and you don't know what chocho is so chocho is like a public bus a public transport for people in ghana we call it chocho so yeah going to makola is a lot for me to get an uber it's just going to drain my money and waste my time so it's better i go with public transport i just stand at my junction i get a car so guys see you hey guys so good afternoon yesterday i got back very tired extremely tired that i couldn't do anything so i want to show you the things that i got from makala okay well these are the fabrics that i got i got this beautiful lace this beautiful lace i'm going to make a very fire outfit out of this very fire i, I really like the design inside i love it so yeah I'm going to make a very beautiful outfit out of it. So that's what I got. Today, there is not much for me to do. I don't have a lot to do today. I'll be making some dresses. I have some dresses. Guys, of late, I've been feeling so lazy. I sleep very late and wake up very late. And I feel like it's really taking away all my time. I've been trying to get good sleep, but the good sleep is just not coming. I don't know if there is something that I have to put myself on so that I'll be able to sleep early and wake up early. It's too much because now that I have moved to Accra, I know things are going to move super fast with business and everything. So yeah, I'm just looking for remedies to this insomnia that I have. That is basically it. I also bought a plain fabric that will go under this. Do you want to see it? I don't really think it's necessary, but let me just show you what. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is just a instead. Yeah, this is the plain fabric. This is like um, a stretchy satin sort of, but we call it paradise over here. We call it paradise. I don't know what they call it in your country, but here we call it paradise. So that is it, guys. I'm just going to get straight to work and make these outfits. This particular one, I'll be showing you the process. But what I'm working on right now, I already started. So there is no need for me to show process. But if the need arises, I'll just put in snippets. See you soon. Yes, broad take away. Thank you. I'm shy. What's up guys? How are you? How are we? So yeah, I really want to end this vlog today 
a lot has happened from the last time we met or we spoke or the last time i did anything a lot has happened so um i went to a friend's father's funeral yeah i'm going to try my best to insert all the footage insert all the footage in it so that you get what i mean yeah so i'm going to try my best to insert the footage from the funeral so that you all see and i also um i went for woman of valor so woman of valor is um a show that brings women together um it seeks to inspire women it seeks to you know put women on the map and let's hear some stories from the women this year's speakers and it's organized by nanava namwa a very prominent tv personality in ghana and this year the speakers were very important to me they are people that were very pivotal in my growth or have been or are still pivotal in my group as a human being or in all aspects of my life they were bonang mateba um Rita Dominic and also Shelley from Poman. So she's a movie director. Rita Dominic is an actress. And um Shelley from Poman also is a writer. If you've watched Perfect Pictures or Adam's Apples, she wrote and directed that movie. And Bonang is, you know, a TV and a radio personality, an on-air personality. The most awarded in the whole of the continent. She made sure she said that. Don't worry, I'm going to put clips of all this in it so that you can go ahead. God, my skin is glowing. I'll go ahead and insert clips so that you see what I'm talking about. Yeah, but I just wanted to tell you that I am ending the vlog today. And today, too, I went to Makola. Oh, shit, my light. My light. My light. Sorry, my light was about falling apart, so I had to fix it. It's fixed now. I went to Makola, I bought a few items and I'm going to show you the dress that I was making the last time from that fabric that you saw. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. It's right behind me inside. So I'll get go ahead and show you. So enjoy this vlog and when it ends and you don't see me saying bye-bye, this is just me telling you bye-bye. I'm so exhausted. I'm so tired. You can tell from how I am talking. But yeah, make sure to subscribe to this channel, okay? See ya okay guys so this is the dress i love it i love it so much i'm not entirely done um i have to do some applique on the um how do you call it forget the mess around here i told you guys that i'm now about to put the place together so yeah that is it that is it for you see you in the next vlog Good to see you. All right, we'll start very soon. Allow me to settle in a bit, okay? Is that okay? Yeah. That's just by the way. You're welcome once again, Antiphobia. It's so lovely to see all of you, and of course, my boss, my mentor, and I'm a good morning, and I salute you once again. It's good to see you. I, I want us to start with a prayer, but there's no one to pray on the list, so I want someone to volunteer to pray for us. Please, when you come, don't sing. <laughs> Just pray and let's go. Don't sing. It's not a worship and praise session. So who wants to pray? Ah, wait, let's put our hands together for her. Our superstar one, no, come on, you can do it better. Look at how she's walking. That's right. I want to know a prayer for a woman as well. Thank you very much. Please don't sing, okay? I don't plan to. Good morning. Please, I would like us to reverence the Lord by being on our feet, please. From breaking glass ceilings to challenging societal norms, we keep pushing boundaries and redefining what it means to be strong, courageous, and capable. But our journey is far from over. We stand at the precipice of a new era where the voices and contributions of women are more important than ever. If we're not doing it already, let us engage in meaningful conversations, challenge our perspectives, and celebrate the achievements of incredible women around us. We must always remember that we are stronger when we are united and together. To our esteemed speakers, Shirley, Bonam, and Rita, thank you for responding so quickly to my request. I still remember Shirley saying, I can never say no to you. 
that means the world to me. To Bonan and Rita, thanks for the quick and positive responses. These three ladies have been brewing some serious strength on, off, and behind the screens for a long time. Shika and Obobia, as long as this event exists, we too are not allowed to travel on the 7th of March in the year. Thank you so much for your support. The insights from the women you'll be listening to today will ignite sparks of inspiration within each of us. And I have no doubt that their words and courageous stories will resonate long after this event concludes. At this point, I'd like to say a big thank you to our sponsors for believing in this platform. As you're all aware, we do not charge gateways for this event, so thank you for putting our bills. Further gratitude goes to the media for, as usual, promoting this event more than we deserve. We couldn't have made it without you. I am grateful to my team, Philippa Bintuma Arthur, Mary They have no rights to travel. 